This is Junior Roberts, and in our last post over at juniorroberts.weebly.com, we talked about resistors, right? And we talked about the basic principles behind how a resistor works, how it is used to resist current in a circuit, and uh, some other basic things that we need to understand about the resistor. So, in this video, what we'll be doing is actually looking at how a resistor is made and try to see if we ourselves can actually make a resistor for our own. So here I have an actual resistor which I actually took apart right um, by breaking it in half. Right and as you can see um, there are two different materials um, which are on the inside of the resistor which is um which is which is dictated by the two different color patterns right so these two materials actually are one is a conductive material and the other one is a non-conductive material so we're going to use that principle of a resistor being made up of a conductive and a non-conductive material to try to see if we can make a resistor for ourselves all right so the items which we'll be using today are a multimeter a pencil a ruler and a sheet of paper like this right so the first thing you're going to do is uh, take your pencil and draw a four centimeters by in length by a half centimeter in width box like this right then you're going to take your pencil preferably a bold pencil like this one here right um, i find that this blue pencil works really well so we can use our pencil and then the next thing we're going to do is i'll use the pencil to shade in inside this rectangle here Okay, so once we've completely blackened our rectangle, we're going to take our multimeter and place it at the opposite end of that blackened box. And as you can see, we're getting a resistance of 80 kilo ohms, and we can vary that resistance by changing the position of the two metal probes. <laughs> 